Metropolitan Alexander, like thousands of other Ukrainian clerics, faces a choice. On the one hand, he can join Ukraine's new independent church and be labelled a traitor by members of his own clergy at this cathedral in Kiev. Or he can stay with the Moscow-headquartered Russian Orthodox Church and risk being branded a Russian agent. As Ukraine prepares to sever more than 300-year-old ties with the Russian Orthodox Church, also known as the Moscow Patriarchate, Alexander has made his decision. He believes his church, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate, is a tool used by the Kremlin to justify Russian expansionism and support separatists in the Ukrainian conflict that has killed more than 10,000 people. Unfortunately, today we see that the body of Russian Orthodox Church is completely poisoned by politics. We clearly understand and know that we have never seen such a unity of Patriarchate and the Kremlin and Kremlin politics before, even during Soviet times. In October, Ukraine secured approval for a breakaway, granted by the Ecumenical Patriarch in Istanbul, the spiritual leader of the Eastern Orthodox Christians. Moscow responded by breaking off ties with the church in Istanbul, also called by its ancient name Constantinople by some believers. And the faithful are every bit as divided as the priests and politicians. I don't really understand the interference of Constantinople. Frankly speaking, it's sort of a political game in my view. It is very important that people who listen to Alexander's views and to other priests realize in what direction the Ukrainian church is moving. For Kiev, that direction is towards reducing Russian influence in Ukraine. The Moscow Patriarchate says the split, championed by Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko, has more to do with shoring up his support ahead of a tight election next year.